Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we're going to be swatching these um, beautiful nude colors by Essie. And these are the colors that I have in my collection. And we're going to be kind of comparing the shades and talking about the formula, how they level, how they cover, and what the final look is. Mm -hmm. Right? And we're going to be doing this on real nails that some of them have uh, little ridges and things of sorts. We're doing kinda... them on my nails. And they're yeah. as, as absolutely real and challenging as real and challenging can get. Yeah, so you can see how they really apply. Yeah. And to all you OGs out there, you know that already. Yeah. All right, so very quickly, this is Lace Me Up, I believe. Lace Me Up. Topless and Barefoot. Topless and Mindful Barefoot. Mindful Meditation. Crop Top and Roll. The Snuggle is Real. Ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, Princess Charming. Buns Up. At the Bar. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are the older ones. Pinned Up. And Sheer Silhouette. Just for the record, when uh -huh. you showed me At the Bar, uh -huh. when I first read it, I thought it said At the Barf. Oh God. Yeah. All right, so the first one, so we did a base coat, which I did the Essie base coat. Mm -hmm. Strong start uh, base coat on the ones that need a base coat because the Essie gel couture, which is a nail polish, mm -hmm. uh, it's not a gel. This one doesn't need a base coat and this one doesn't need a base coat. So I find actually the ones that don't need a base coat, they apply quite well mm -hmm. without a base coat. So. We will follow the um, instructions. All right, so let's start with the Lace Me Up, and that is the lightest nude color. The lightest nudie nude. Yeah, like it's kind of a mm, beigey, kind of a peachy, mm -hmm. pinky kind of nude. And I find this one needs usually three coats. It looks like it's going to be kind of sheer. No, it actually covers. But you kind of wow. goes on a little streaky and it's very pigmented. So it's better to do three thin coats as opposed to two thick ones. You know what actually I heard? Topless bear for blah, blah, blah. No, uh -huh. that's a color you don't use on me. Oh yeah, yeah. Ever. Okay. Barefoot and topless. I don't think I've used this one yet. Barefoot and topless. Mm -hmm. Sounds sexy. Roar. This one is a very, I would say, like a neutral nude. Mm -hmm. Actually, the coverage is pretty it's decent. decent, but yeah. you need almost, I find with Essie, the first coat of color, you almost have to apply with a little bit less pressure, so you have to flo float it on, mm -hmm. and that makes for a bit of a thicker coat, sadly, right. right? So it might take a little bit longer to dry. Right. All right, Mindful Meditation, that's like a grayish... Nude. I like the name. Mindful meditation. Meditation. Mindful meditation. Mindful. Mm -hmm. I love meditating. So this is more of a like a grayish nude. It's like a mushroom, no? Very light mushroom. Would you call actually, it? Actually, that's an interesting. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So far, I'm liking it. Mindful meditation mushroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. Uh, so this one has a more of a, like a sandy look, right? Comparing these two, there's yeah. definitely a difference. Kind of like a grayer tone yeah. to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's nice. Crop top and roll, <laughs> expressy. So this one is also like this kind of a pinkish, nudish shade. This one has a bent brush and that's, oh my God, what's, 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 shh, shh, what's, I'm sorry about that. I don't know why this is happening to me today. Okay, bent brush. Brush, brush. It's because apparently it's easier to paint, mm. so you don't have to kind of hold your hand this way, but you can kind of go like this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like the brushes. I mean, yeah. the, the weird bendy bend, I understand why it's there, but uh, which for those of you who don't know, it's so that you can actually do your I own just nails. Said that. Oh, <laughs> edit. Oh, that's going to be edited out. No, it won't be. Oh, yes, it will. Good Lord. I think when you were saying it, I was staring out the window, looking at the black sky, going, oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. that's, those are some gray clouds. Okay, um, that one is the warmest out of the bunch, I mm -hmm. have to say. And you know what, in a bottle, it doesn't kind of show that um, warmth, but you can definitely see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, there's some warmth. It's, it's got kind of like this peachy yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of look. The Snuggle is Real is from their, um, it's not a spring, it's kind of like a winter collection, called not Time for Bed or something. No it's time always, for bed. It's always time for bed. Okay, this one has also, oops, amazing formula. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. wow. Right? Yeah. Until it starts to level and then you start seeing all the ridges in my nail and you're like, hmm. Okay, so we don't use dirty sticks here, but you know what? We just did a um, swatch video. So I'm going to reuse the stick. Oops. Apparently we use uh, dirty sticks on me. Yeah. God, that just sounded so wrong. <laughs> All right, let's just kind of show you this color. So this one is also kind of, what would you describe it? Like a pink, um, pinkish, right? Yeah. Yeah. Color. Sorry. What? <laughs> just the dirty stick thing. I like the dirty stick. <laughs> okay, so let's go with Princess Charming. Yep. Oh. My goodness. Yeah, I really so this one is like a like a pinkish color, but it's it's um, as she considers it as a nude. A nude. Now, does it have kind of a shimmer? Because I'm looking no. at the bottle, and I don't know if it's the reflection of the bottle, but it looks like there might be some. There's just some unmixed, very good actually formula. Uh, no, there's like oh, just it's just the mixed. Yeah, very nice. Because actually, this looks like a color. If you were to add a little bit of shimmer to it, it yeah. would really look nice. Mm -hmm. Buns up. And for those of you who don't know, I'm not a huge um, nude nudie color. fan. Yeah, not a huge nudie fan. Okay, so this one, it looks a little sheer. Not a fan. Of the brush? Of the sheer nudes. Of the sheer nudes. They tend to look a little dirty. <laughs> the word of the day, dirty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then it's at the bar, which looks very, very warm. Let just move this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of similar to one of the, the ones on the other hand. Let's see how it goes on your Rudy nail. Okay, I was expecting something a little bit better. So, yeah, we'll see. Two or three coats maybe on this one, thin ones probably. And pinned up. Um, we're gonna leave the pinned up on the thumb. And we're going to show you a sheer silhouette, silhouette on the Sounds painting. like I close those. Wow. Okay. See what happens, sorry for the dirty bottles. This one is quite sheer. I'm not impressed with this color. See? And some people say, and I mean, uh, that these would look good, like these sheer, warm, nude colors on darker skin tones. But I find all my clients with darker skin tones don't like these colors. Huh. They don't like them. They like something brighter. So, I mean, color is such a subjective thing right so if you like these colors on the natural nails this one goes on very very well it's not streaky whatsoever mm -hmm. good color but i just find it's just not very popular yeah no yeah. all right so um pinned up i need to clean these bottles Okay, so this one is also, it's not sheer, but it's soft. Okay. 
so far the well we'll see with two coats how they look all right so okay this one is quite dry already and let's see this one not bad but it, this one is obviously drier because mm -hmm. it's only one coat so i find um usually the more time you have to dry them between the coats the better so for the swatch purpose like obviously we're not waiting for too long but if you're doing your own nails um especially if you're applying three coats then it's a good idea to dry them a little bit in between the coats okay this might show the ridge a little bit ridgy ridge mm -hmm. topless and barefoot that's nice though what the color yeah yeah if you're two yeah. coats actually it's mm -hmm. not bad yeah, I sometimes am able to apply it in two coats, depending on the nails. Mm -hmm. But with some clients that have ridgy nails, I don't even try the two coats. I just apply three thin ones. So I don't try to correct it with the second one. I know I'm going to need three. Mindful meditation. I really like this color. I have to say, Essie has some really good formulas. And you know, it's the formula plus the new brushes that make a huge difference. Because these colors that are like pigmented, uh, when you try to use them with the um, very skinny little brush, it makes it more difficult, I find. So I'm going to attempt, so you can't go too thin because you're going to start getting patches, but I'm going to do three thin coats of these ones. All right, and now the snuggle is real. This is definitely a pinkish nude. It's nice and bright, quite chalky. These ones are nice, but if you are a beginner, sometimes they're not very forgiving. Um, I like Desert Dry. Yeah. Definitely not forgiving. Amazing colors, though. Yeah. I mean, some but colors that's off are. Topic. Yeah, yeah. Princess Charming. Let me know another thing. Because. Some people prefer the nudes to be matching their skin tone. Mm -hmm. And some people prefer the nudes to have a contrast. I personally prefer contrast with the nudes. And I'm um, just curious what you guys think. Mm. You know what I think? like contrast. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think people need to like, subscribe, oh, hit that bell notification button. You Check out our Patreon. You get me with this? Mm-hmm. I love doing that. Mm-hmm. We also have a fundraiser for some really cool doggos. Yeah. You should go check that out. We're almost we're almost at our um goal amount? Yes, goal amount. There we go. Yes. So please if you would like to support us, it's a great cause. It's a sanctuary for galgos, which are Italian uh, Italian. Italian greyhounds. Spanish greyhounds. Spanish greyhounds. Um in Spain and they do amazing job rehabilitating them right. and and uh, providing medical care and it's it's a very very good cause mm -hmm. and i went there personally a year and a half ago now mm -hmm. i checked it out very legit place they do like i said amazing job mm -hmm. for real so we're trying to support them we're trying to raise a thousand dollars i know it's not yeah. going very well thousand bucks yeah. so i'll tell you what guys and i'm gonna wear some hot hot pink for like a week and i'm gonna yeah. go around town i'm gonna take some pictures there's gonna be possibly like an instagram takeover for the day while i'm yeah. running around town taking pictures or so, at least yes. throughout the week so once we and we're close like we're over 600 dollars already yeah come on we have like less than 400 dollars to go by the sounds of it let's make it happen guys this is for a great cause if you can help it would be greatly appreciated would be awesome yes yes that would be super awesome so here we are we are on finishing up coat number two 
Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna need some th three coaters ah. on some of the nails. Yep, it'll happen. Yep. Especially with my nails. Yeah, you see? Mm -hmm. I find that in your case, the base coat doesn't really help. The rich filler, you would have to do two coats, probably. In my case, I probably need five coats. <laughs> to make a bit of a difference <laughs> and that takes forever to dry so again i'm my perspective is as a you know um professional nail technician who does this for a living in a salon so it's a different um take on all these issues because for me my clients are not gonna wait 10 minutes in between the coats and they're not gonna wait for me to um take like half an hour to polish their nails right so Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just don't have the patience. Right. So it's just a little bit different. Okay, so let's just very quickly show you how three coats look on this one. Yeah, but if you are doing this at home and if you sometimes need three coats and if you have time to dry them, then yeah, go for it because it makes a big difference. You know what you do? What? You put on some Animal Planet, like the good stuff. Yeah. You throw on the dodo. You know, Shit's Creek, whatever it may be, whatever's mm -hmm. gonna make give you the feels and uh, yeah, let those and get, suckers dry. Get good lighting because that makes a big difference yeah. too. Just do your nails. Take okay. your time between the coats. Yeah, so you see, it's kind of funny because you think you are saving time sometimes with these uh, colors that don't need the base coat, but you kind of are not because they eventually need three coats anyway. Mm -hmm. Right, some of them. Some of them don't. All right, let's see how this one looks. This one looks perfect. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. You, you know, it's interesting. Something? You've been uh, banging and clanging like all day. I know, the, I don't know uh, what it is. Off our new setup. Yeah, it's the brush, it's not me. All right, so this one looks... <laughs> <laughs> it's the brush, it's not you. Right. It's the brush it. Okay, so this one we covered in two coats. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Yeah. The Prince is Charming, so it's two coater. And this one, not bad, but it's... You know what? If it wasn't for the ridge, yeah. I think I think in like a, a normal set of nails, it would do yeah. better. But we'll do three. This is pretty quick drying. And Let's you know what? I actually, funny enough, so I don't like the tone on tone really look, but this one looks really kind of good on you. Why, thank you. Yeah. I think it goes well with my eyes. Wow. Yeah, you see? It's, it's nice. I don't know. I like it. All right, let's oh, see how this one. This one has that. a more of a kind of a squishy feeling. Squishy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of Vinylux. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do like a light. You know, at first it looked like that was gonna be a simple two coater, and then no, as you got into the right? second coat, it just started to streak. Okay, let's <clears> see how this one looks. And so these ones, it's kind of funny sometimes because people Look complain. I know that these don't cover in in two three coats but they're not supposed to cover they're supposed to be sheer right mm. but let's just see if someone wanted to build it up mm -hmm. and i also found out uh with the new top coat from sc i feel like that did absolutely nothing i know <laughs> it's still sheer it's still streaky <laughs> <laughs> no it's your nail that's streaky <laughs> Anyway, so the top coat, you kind of have to apply it not very, very thick, the, the platinum top coat, because mm -hmm. if, uh, if you apply it too thick, it shrinks. I think it's the thickness that causes it. Yeah. Um, let's see how this one looks. Yeah, let's do a third one on this one. Yeah, oops. I'm going to kind of, yeah, I see it's still kind of not covering that one. No. But, you know, almost there. It is what it is. Nice color. Yeah. And thankfully not everybody has such difficult nails. Challenging nails. It's nothing wrong But you know nails. what? That's the best thing to do is to learn on these nails. If you are practicing, like mm -hmm. if you're a nail technician, because um, if you can perfect application on these nails, you'll do well mm -hmm. with normal nails. Correct. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna very quickly show you, I show that in almost every video, but if you're new, um, I just use pure acetone, excuse me, here. 
<laughs> and I just um, take a little bit on the brush and this is how I clean up the nails. So I always make sure that the, the line is nice and smooth. It just looks better. Oops. Oh. And that also gives the polish a chance to dry a little bit between uh -huh. the coats. That's not a waste of time. I prefer to use uh, these kind of brushes, the round ones, because I find they're more flexible. But some people use the flat, like a lip, lip, lipstick brush or something. This one has a nice it's point. It's a lipstick brush. It's a brush that you apply lipstick with. Apparently, yeah, some people apply. Well, I especially use makeup artists. To put lipstick on. Yeah, no. Usually, makeup artists apply the. Just lipstick so you're not with a using. Brush? Yes, because oh. so they're not like, you know, using the same lipstick on multiple, multiple people. people. Oh. I, I'm not something. into makeup, makeup as no. you guys can all tell. <clears throat> My apologies. That's okay. All right, so let's see this one. Well, you'd think I'd be a little more in tune, all things considered, however. Not however, so not so much. Yeah. Oops, hairs are falling out. One thing I do know is I don't like those lipsticks that do the plumpy plump. Oh. That I know for sure. Mm -hmm. They're not that good for the skin, apparently. They're just irritating. All right, so another, say. yeah, another uh, a little tip is with these brushes because there are they are natural fiber. What I do is uh, when I'm finished, like after you know, a couple of days of using it, just drop a little bit of oil. Tip of the day, because they get all like fluffy, right? The brushes. So right. I just I just put some. Doesn't matter which oil. What kind of oil is that anyway? So it's from Orly. Oh, it's a very interesting dropper and and just. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very it actually cute has a nice little... smell. Let me smell. Like we just hold on. Let's, let me just put some on your nail. No. Right. right. What kind of smell is this? Um, like a natural. It smells like oil. I'm not sure how else <laughs> to, to kind of explain it. It's not like it's not scented. It's it, it just kind of smells like it is scented oil a, little, a little bit. Oh my god, it is a little scented. Not really. It just. Anyway, so we're not gonna do a, a top coat because we're going to swatch a couple more, few more colors. What? It's like what? We're gonna right. do another video. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me only two in pizza. What is this? Sorry. You lied to me. Yeah, so we're gonna do Vinylax in the next video. So if you guys are interested in the Vinylax colors, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing that. And um, yeah, let us know which ones are your favorite nude colors. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it. No, that's uh, all. We and have. go check out the the links down in the duplicate oh, for the, the a lot of the products too. that we. Well, yeah. there's that too, like some of the products that we use, as well as the fundraiser, Patreon, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But we will catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Ciao. Mm -hmm.